Hey, hi, hello there, wonderful people, and welcome to this week's episode of Tiger in the Tubes' amorphous science type show of learning junk. I don't know if that's the official name yet or not. I keep changing my mind. Oh well, this week's question comes from Brandy, who lives in Hull in England, and she asks Tiger, what are some of the different and more interesting ways that animals communicate? I promise that I will answer your question today, Brandy, from Hull in England, but I'm also feeling a little bit adventurous, so I'm going to try something that's just a tad different. Everybody stand back. I am going to attempt humour. Did you know that if you're willing to bend things in your favour just a little bit, you can make amazing comparisons between the different ways that animals will communicate with each other and the ways that humans interact with each other in a variety of circumstances? It's true! For instance, much like the way that teenage boys will slather themselves in cheap name brand deodorant in the hopes of getting a girlfriend or boyfriend, many types of animals will use pheromones, which are special chemical scent markers in the hopes of attracting a mate. And just like the brown lemming, the meadow vole, and a whole bunch of other animals, teenage girls are actually able to tell whether or not a potential partner is a virgin using the scents that they put off. At least, I'm pretty sure that's the way it works in humans. I definitely know that's how it works in animals. Sticking with the theme of fornication, albatrosses as well as a whole bunch of other types of birds use various forms of dance in order to try and attract a mate. And not unlike my friends at the club on a Friday night, if they can't bust the right moves then they have no hope of going home anything but alone. Also not unlike my friends, male fiddler crabs will try and attract a mate by waving their arms in the air in the manner that they just don't care. Yes, unlike my friends though, is that the fact that this actually works for the male fiddler crabs. Other creatures will actually use dance for purposes that isn't picking up though. For instance, much like the way that the small toddler will dance around excitedly pointing with extreme vigour at the object of its desire, bees will actually perform a special kind of butt waggling dance to let other bees know where the best pollen is for collection. Speaking of bugs and insects, everybody knows that fireflies are really pretty, but not everybody knows that they're trapped in the 1800s when it comes to communication. Either that or they're insect hipsters which is a possibility. Fireflies have an organ near their butt called a lantern, which sends out flashes of light in species-specific patterns that let other fireflies know what species they are so that they can find mates and get down and busy in the most genetically efficient manner. I'm definitely sensing a pattern here. Basically, they're using Morse code, like a telegraph, which everybody knows was invented so that Samuel Morse could sex without needing to use the postal service. Okay, I'm running out of time, but I've got so many more facts about animals to tell you. Kangaroo rats communicate with each other by thumping their feet, not unlike a hyperactive person wiggling their leg under a table. Crickets chirp by rubbing their legs together, not unlike a cellist performing Paganini's 24th Caprice. And electric eels actually communicate with each other with electric impulses, which is kind of like how my ex-boyfriend used to tell me he wanted something, which was by rubbing his feet up and down the carpet while he was wearing socks and then hitting me with a bolt of static electricity. And that's all the time that we have for this week. I hope that you learned something. Everything that I told you about the animals was true. Not everything that I said about humans was true. Except for the bit about my ex-boyfriend. That that bit was definitely, definitely true, the little bastard. Anyway, this week's bonus quest is for you to tell me, invent a reason as to why in films when two characters don't speak English as their native language and they're alone in a scene together, why do they speak English? I want you to invent an in-universe reason and tell me in the comment section below or tell me on Twitter or wherever you want to tell me. Just tell me the answer to my question, please. Bye! And now, an advertisement. This program was sponsored by Cosmo the Wonder Dog. Cosmo likes these videos. Cosmo subscribes to this channel. Why won't you? Be like Cosmo, the Wonder Dog. Don't disappoint him.